fashion. This is round one. You guys already know this, but we're making it official. May 2nd, MGM Grand Arena Complex. Uh, we will watch the fight. We want to know who wins. Skip and Stephen A are making their official picks. Skip Bayless, you first. Stephen A. Smith, it's pretty obvious to me that Floyd Mayweather Jr. should win this fight. Oh, Lord. He's a two-to-one favorite on the betting boards right, right here at MGM Grand in Las Vegas. He has home ring advantage. He is the easy and safe pick to win this fight. But Manny Pacquiao will win this fight, so go ahead. Put it on the board. Put it on the board. Go ahead. Make it official and put it on the board. Thank you. 47 and no. 47 and no, no, no. 47 and one. 47 and one. Now let me explain. Manny Pacquiao will win this fight because Manny Pacquiao has wanted this fight for five long years. He has wanted it far more than Floyd even wants it right now. I'm going to give you this. Floyd is a ring genius, and because he is so smart, he is, he is so good. From the start, this is a bad matchup for Floyd Mayweather Jr. That's why he made all the steroid excuses for a while. That's why he ran and he ran and he ran and he finally got shamed into... Boo yourself! <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate that. And my partner, who's going to need all the help he can get today, appreciates that. This is a bad matchup for Floyd because he realizes he's finally up against the first legitimate opponent who has quicker feet than Floyd does. He has equally quick hands, does Manny Pacquiao. He has an equally quick and underestimated ring of mind, does Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao clearly to me, although Roy Jones Jr. said on our show the other day he didn't see it, Manny Pacquiao clearly has the, the bigger punching power of these two fighters because I think Floyd has no punching power, especially at age 38. And trust me, Manny and Freddie Roach are seeing a decline in skills and speed over the last three Floyd fights. And finally, the problem with fighting Manny Pacquiao is he is so brilliantly unorthodox. He is tough for Floyd to draw a beat on, to time, because he can't be timed. In and out, in and out, right, left, right, left, right, left. Manny is so quick of foot, it's going to cause lots of problems increasingly for Floyd Mayweather Jr. And then, do I have to even bring up the fact, Manny is a southpaw. Manny's a left-hander. We know that Floyd has had a little bit of trouble. I'm not going to overestimate this, but it just further complicates the mix that Manny is coming from the wrong side to Floyd Mayweather Jr. And finally, members of Manny's entourage have reminded me this repeatedly over the last couple of weeks. Do not underestimate Manny Pacquiao's will. This man fought his way out of a Filipino ghetto. I'm talking about, I'm going to say it again. Yeah, yeah, you can laugh at this. Wait, wait until you see this. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. I appreciate that. They, the, the father killed the dog for food when Manny was a kid. Manny had to leave home at 14 to fight for food because his mother could no longer feed him. Do not underestimate the will that you're going to see on display tomorrow night because Manny Pacquiao wants this man. He wanted him for the steroid accusations. He wanted him for the racist rant that Floyd posted on the internet about Manny Pacquiao. And in the end, Manny Pacquiao wants to knock out Floyd Mayweather Jr., and I believe he will. Floyd is going down in round seven. Floyd will bite the dust. Thank you. The floor is yours, and I appreciate you giving me my time. You know... <laughs> You know, I'm glad we got to this point because I was wondering what round you were going to predict Floyd was going to fall in because I wanted to make sure that your foolhardiness, your ignorance when it comes to this fight was illuminated for the for the world to see. It is amazing to me. It's a, first of all, let's let's keep let's keep this in mind. 
This same Manny Pacquiao that you talk about, his spirit, his will, how he was he was raised in the Filipino ghetto. I think it's safe to say that he's a bit far removed from that. He has been going from that for quite some time now. That's number one. Number two, it certainly didn't prevent him from getting put to sleep. Or okay, from Juan Manuel Marquez. Number three, he fought Juan Manuel Marquez four times. Two of those fights that Manny won by decision, there were those who thought Marquez should have won. The third fight was a draw, and the fourth was a KO loss. And what I'm saying to you is that Floyd doesn't only have five ways to beat Manny because Manny lost five times. He actually has three additional times because of the four times Manny Pacquiao, I mean, fought Marquez. So it's the one knockout loss combined with the three other fights he has against Marquez. And all the boxing aficionados, when they talk about a comparison in terms of who has Manny Pacquiao been in the ring with that's comparable to Floyd, they used Marquez in terms of style, how he thinks, how he fights, etc., etc. So all I'm trying to say to you is this. We are talking about a guy in Floyd Money Mayweather that you are just so disrespectful about. This dude is 47 and 0. The world usually is rooting against him. That's how he became, you know, he has, has got, he generated more than half a billion dollars in revenue for himself because he's built a whole bunch of haters. He followed the theory of Cat Williams, comedian Cat Williams, in case you don't know who he is. When he talked about, if you ain't got, if you, you know, got 15 haters, yeah. you're wrong because you need more. Okay. okay. Wait, 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 help me out here. How, how many haters do we have here today? I, I don't think we have any haters here. Let me explain. Are you, what, what is this? Let me explain. Do you hate Floyd? I'm Nobody sorry. Here hates Floyd. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. After yeah. I let you. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that. I like yeah, it. Try to distract <laughs> him. After I let you go on your soliloquy, yeah, so you're going to interrupt I, me by bringing in the audience? <laughs> that ain't going to work. Here's the deal. What I'm trying to say to you is this. Floyd Mayweather is unblemished, undefeated in his illustrious career. He has a two-inch height advantage, at least. He, he has does. a five-inch reach advantage. He, he is clearly recognized as the superior boxer. He's a counterpuncher, which means that he waits for you. He lives for you to come at him. And nobody is going to come at him the way Manny Pacquiao has, is going to come at him. Nobody has come at him that way. I'll Manny Pacquiao that. Manny Pacquiao throws punches in bunches. He comes at you with a level of a level of a... Because as skilled and elite as he is, he's one-dimensional. He does not know how to fight. I know you all didn't make that yeah. mistake. Let's go. Stop. Anyway, that. don't don't try to help Skip. He can't be helped today. Yep. The point is, is that <laughs> Floyd Money Mayweather is superior in every way but punching power. And that is negated because Manny Pacquiao is going to come to him. I am not picking Floyd Mayweather to win just because of Floyd. I'm picking Floyd Mayweather to win because of Pacquiao. Pacquiao will come at him, he will get eaten alive, and he will go down in 11. TKO, it's over. That is what will happen. That was kind of a half-hearted chant. I don't need their chants. Yeah. All right. They go, they'll be chanting tomorrow night. How, and Sunday. Let me ask you something. And Monday. How objective are you about Floyd Mayweather Jr.? Can I answer that? Yes. Totally, I just ask you. Totally objective. Here's where my objectivity mm -hmm. elevates to, or, or, or transitions to subjectivity. I would have picked Floyd from the beginning. No doubt about that. You have helped me root for him. The folks out there who go after him, not for his domestic violence, because he deserves that, but for the other stuff, when in terms of his flaunting, his yep. wealth, and all of this other stuff, I don't like stuff like that, because here's why. He earned it. Every penny, he earned it. Sure I wouldn't did. be flaunting like that. Most people wouldn't be flaunting like that. Uh, well, let's you, not you take got a little bit of that in you. I got a little bit of it in me. Oh, I like to look good. Oh, do you oh, no, 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 no. Make, make no about mistake it. about yeah. that. Yeah. I do yeah. believe in me. But the point that I'm trying to make to you is that I would never floss like that. Right. But he reminds us that he earned it. He said, what did he say to me when I interviewed him? I pay my taxes. I do what I have to do. I earned every penny. Y'all will applaud some dude that used to rob folks in the street, but then he turns around and resurrects his life. But I never did any of that. 
I've been boxing since I was two years old. I'm an unblemished, undefeated world champion. You know, for the last you know, 15 years or so, Manny Pacquiao was named fighter of the decade. He got five losses. Floyd is undefeated, and Manny Pacquiao gets the award over him. At every turn, somebody has looked to diminish the level of greatness that this man has displayed. And I'm telling you, for me, and I'm not going to, a lot of people apologize for this stuff. I am not. In this particular instance, I'm going to root for the brother. I'm not apologizing I, I for that. that. I'm not apologizing for that. You know what I'm I don't, listen, Manny Pacquiao, hold on. Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao, is a, and, and, and this is a lesson for everybody else, too. You know if you've got some people, if you're from a different community, if you're Mexican, if you're, you're, you're Puerto Rican, Latino overall, Dominican, doesn't matter. If you got somebody... From your from your sure. crib, from your hood that you want to root that. for. There's no crime in that. Nope. I'm looking at Manny Pacquiao. I love Manny Pacquiao. Person, great fighter, the whole bit. But he's from the Philippines, and everybody treats him better than they treat Floyd. And I'm going like this. As a boxer. As a boxer. I'm like, wait a minute. He's not Floyd. And in the ring, he's never been Floyd. And he ain't, ain't going to be Floyd tomorrow night. I'm not apologizing for that. I'm not apologizing for that. Here's the problem with your argument. Sure. Floyd is no longer Floyd. <laughs> okay. You're living in the past. This man is 38 years of age. He ran and ran and ran from a bad matchup of a fight with Manny Pacquiao and finally got shamed, shamed into taking it so that he could remove the potential asterisk from his undefeated record because you and I would have asked him for the rest of his career, why didn't you fight Manny Pacquiao? I don't believe he wants to fight Manny Pacquiao, but now he's got to. He's lost a little yeah. hand speed, Good. bless you, Thank and you. bless Floyd for that matter, tomorrow night. <laughs> He's lost some hand speed. He doesn't have the foot speed that Manny has. You're going to see this manifest itself quickly tomorrow night in rounds one, two, and three. Later in the, the show, we're going to break it down round by round, right. and I will explain and educate you on, on how it will break down from round to round. But here's my final point, sure. and this is a key strategic point. Freddie Roach, seven-time trainer of the year, is not in Floyd's corner. I, listen, I have nothing but respect for Floyd's ring brilliance. He's the best defensive fighter ever. But he's had some issues with his father. His father, obviously, is now back in his corner. Mm -hmm. That's a huge advantage for Manny Pacquiao. Freddie Roach is I, really good on the fly. In these I, cannot, I cannot let that end there. First mm -hmm. of all, as you know, I spoke to Freddie Roach two days ago. And then yesterday, while I was doing my radio show, he actually interrupted me to tell me he wears a size 8. The shoes that he wants me Wait, to buy. Freddie Roach? Like, Freddie Roach oh, he... interrupted my show to tell <laughs> me he wears funny. a size 8. Because that, 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 those are the Tom Ford uh -huh. shoes he wants me to get him when Pacquiao knocks Mayweather out in the ninth round. <laughs> okay, I told him I'm a size 13. Bigger, stronger, faster the whole bit. And Floyd Mayweather will handle okay. his business. But I'm going to tell you something right now. You talk about how... Floyd is not the same Floyd. First of all, we'll see about that, number one. Number two, it ain't even required. And last time I checked, Freddie Roach was in his corner when he got put to sleep, mm -hmm. too. Freddie Roach was the one that was on the record saying he thought he was dead for a second. Mm -hmm. His business manager sat up there and said he thought he was dead. You can talk to me about trainers all day long, but they can't fight for you. And last but not least, Floyd Mayweather Sr. Let's keep this in mind. Miguel Cotto fought Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Money Mayweather. He hit him a lot. Roger was training him, who's a mm -hmm. terrific trainer. The father went up to him, what the hell is going on? I don't like this. You're taking too many hits. What happens? The next several fights, Floyd Mayweather Sr. is trading him. And we see a level of defensive brilliance we hadn't seen from Floyd in years because his father wanted him to go back. To, not, to making sure you missed punches. So what I'm saying to you is that that father is in the ring. That father is in the ring against Freddie Roach. And you can hear Freddie Roach say a lot of things, but you ain't going to hear him disrespect the trainer in terms of his training acumen because Floyd Mayweather Sr. knows something about boxing too. And more importantly, he knows his son. And his it's with him that his son's defensive brilliance mm -hmm. was elevated. Oh, man, he's in trouble. Mm -hmm. The boy's in trouble. The Last boy's in point, trouble. Time, sir. I'm telling you. This is, this is the last time I'm going to say this. You continually, because it's all you got left, and I appreciate that, but you continually bring up the last Marquez fight and the knockout. I'm going to tell you one last time, 
Manny Pacquiao has wanted Floyd Mayweather for five long years. He did not want to fight Marquez for a fourth time. 